Hey, this is Mark. We're on the uh, first part of the Music and Miles, the first ever Music and Miles, and it's been organised by Jogger. And I'll just pass it over to Jogger now to do his first uh, phone blog on the road. Hello, campers. Uh, this is Jogger on the uh, East Lancashire Road, facing west. Uh, about to, uh, really about to just head off into Liverpool. Um, we're about we're about 15 miles away, so. We should be there by tea. It's 10.25 when we set off, so I'll give you an idea about uh, how poor we are on the old pedals. Um, we thought we'd stop for Windle, a place that I've done uh, quite a few times since 2005, just to really talk about what is the uh, 153 mile challenge, why we're doing it, why we're tied into Jogger, uh, doing his music and miles. Uh, the 153 mile challenge was started in 2009 for the public, but prior to that, in 2005, it was started because I blew my calf muscle. Um, the right calf muscle inside of the leg, and I couldn't walk for three months. I was told I'd never walk again properly. Um, well, I wasn't going to listen to that, if I'm honest with you. I certainly wasn't going to listen to the profits of doom. And then I started walking slowly, step by step. You sent me an hour to probably do a mile. And then uh, in 2009, I was up to 40 and a half miles in one day. Um, and passed through Windle many, many times uh, on the way. Oh no, we're, we're less than 30 minutes in and we've had our first puncher. We're at the side of the road um, trying to fix it now. Um, we should have some photos coming up online on the photo book. Go to music.tsconnected.com. Um, once we're sorted, we'll be back on the road. We'll be making uh, good speed towards Liverpool. We're, we're all done now, we're back on the road, um, we now have a designated puncher repairman and that's Tom. Um, I think it only took about 10 minutes or so to get it all fixed and stuff, so fingers crossed we won't be repeating the puncher uh, on the road. Uh, it's Mark, um, we're in Liverpool, we've just got tea, coffee, um, bacon sandwiches, stuff like that, I've had a bit of a pause and we're going to hit the road. Um, I'm just going to pass the phone over to Tom, who is our designated uh, puncher repairman and uh, he'll just give you a bit of an update about his ride this morning. I'm not joking. I wouldn't have come if I'd have known I was going to have all this hassle. Bloody punctures and everything. <laughs> uh, so we've come from, uh, you probably know all this, from uh, Town down the East Flanks and past Everton Football Club. All the supporters were there. We had to fight our way through them. And we come to this cafe. It's called Me Mam's Kitchen. It's a belting place. I think the Liverpool supporters, everything's red. Uh, and from here, I think we're going to get some landmark pictures, Jonathan says. Uh, Andy's Brum Centre, Matthew Street, but then we're going to go out to uh, the outlying districts, the hinterlands. Uh, the teams um, just got to the studios in Warrington. We're waiting for the artists to turn up now and uh, do their set and stuff and film it for the internet and everything. Um, I think it was a bit of a welcome sight in Warrington. We kind of uh, took a scenic detour in Hale and took in some sights, I think. Um, and then it was a bit of a long slog, especially for me, from um, from uh, Hale to Warrington. I was feeling it towards the end, but now we're here. Everyone's dead perky again, everyone's dead happy and stuff.
jam months ago That I could never erase That time we sat upon the stairs And we captured our embrace Oh, I'm a sucker for your love Come and give me all your love oh. 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 Thinking about the other day you said you wanted me to stay I just wanted to make sure That you knew what I had to fall Oh, I'm a sucker for your love Come and give me all your love a sucker for your love Come and give me all your love